Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be drawing an ice cream cone and we will get started. Um, I have watercolors and some water uh, marker and um, some paintbrush, paper towels and a sheet of paper. I'm using um, watercolor paper, but you can use any kind of paper that you have. So to draw the ice cream cone, I'm going to have the scoops here and the waffle cone there and uh, maybe add a cherry on top, something like that. So I'm going to keep my paper this way. Uh, so let's get started. So I'm going to start out with the smallest scoop here and I'm going to leave some space for the, the cherry on top. So I'm going to try to do a little dome shape here, a small dome shape. and do not close the bottom of it. So I have this opening and then I'm gonna go ahead and draw some wiggly lines there. So I'm gonna start out with a little, um, uh, a little semi-circle shape and then continue with some wiggly lines there. And then I'm gonna end with a similar shape. Okay, so there I have the first scoop and on top of it, I'm going to add a little cherry. So I'm just going to be doing like a little heart shape, but at the bottom, I'm going to round it. So it's going to be like a little heart shape and just round the bottom of it and add a little stem. Okay. So that's my cherry and the first scoop. For the second scoop, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to do the whole, I'm not going to do the whole dome. I'm going to start out from here and do a curve line, a little bit bigger. Okay, and do the same thing on the other side. And then I'm gonna do the same thing as I did here, a little semi-circle and then wavy lines like so. So at any time, if you need more time, you can pause the video and um, continue. Then I'm gonna do a third scoop here. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger here and wider. And uh, I'm going to do exactly the same thing as the first three, uh, the first two. So, so I've got my three scoop scoops and um, I'm going to go ahead and draw the waffle cone. So for this waffle cone, I'm going to do two, two, uh, sort of uh, shapes to maybe one rectangle and a square. So I'm going to start out with a rectangle here, but I'm going to do like a slanted one um, and not close the top. So I'm going to do this. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and like a, do a square shape, but it's more like a um, little bit tilted. So it's not really exactly a square. Okay. So two slanted lines coming down and then just go ahead and maybe round the bottom a little bit. Now I can add some crisscross line in these two compartments uh, like so and do the same thing in the bottom one and then go the other way and do some crisscross lines. So take your time and pause the videos if you need more time. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and add some sprinkles on top. So just some little random dashes here and there, okay. Just completely random all over the place, just any shape and form. Um, so this looks very good. I'm gonna add a little, uh, maybe a waffle stick there. So something like this, two lines coming out from here and maybe a little loop at the end. And then I can sort of create a little pattern in the middle and color this in sort of brown or something like a chocolate waffle. So this looks very good so we can get started with the coloring. So I'm going to be 
uh, using watercolor but if you have any other um, you know materials like crayons color pencils um, markers whatever you have you can use so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with um, uh, pink here so I'm gonna go ahead and color in this whole thing uh, pink all right the first scoop So there we have it. Add some water if you're not able to drag the paint. You can lighten in some areas. Okay. All right. So the next one, I'm going to go ahead and do green. Um, So again, you can choose any color you like. You can make it brown for chocolate. You know, you can make it any color you like. So there I have pink and green. And for the last uh, scoop, I'm going to use purple. So here we go. So there's purple. So use the tip of the brush to stay within the line and go ahead and color it in. Um, bit more water to, to be able to drag. It's very stiff. Um, all right, so this looks pretty good. And then for the cherry on top, I'm actually just using one brush, but you can use smaller brush um, for tighter spaces. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little red for the cherry. And that will be it. Um, Now for the the cone and this, I'm going to be using uh, some browns and some yellowish tone. Actually, I'm going to use this peach color, very light peach color for this area, for the waffle cone. I mean, not the waffle cone, the, the, the waffle, chocolate waffle. Um, and then brown for the chocolate part here. I have too much water, so I'm going to go ahead and grab some more paint and go ahead and add that in. So that shows up pretty well. For the bottom part here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and color this in uh, brown. And I'm going to add some... Uh, yellow to it to make it a little bit lighter so I'll go for the bright yellow you know just something like this and also on this side all right that looks pretty good I'm gonna add a little bit more brown to mix it really well so this is pretty much it um, there is your 
ice cream cone. Be sure to sign up on it. And um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.